Hey guys, what is up? Awesome and saucer. Hope you guys are having a great day. And y'all, Novus is out. There's a few spells that they changed. I thought I'd make a video on it in case anybody wanted to know exactly what they changed. Without further ado, let's look at the spells. So the spells that we're going to be talking about today are Life, Myth, and Ice. These are basically the lore spells for these schools that didn't actually get audited in Test Realm, but rather got audited between pushing Test Realm into life. Some of these are a little wild, so let's get right into it. Starting right off with, I would argue, the most infamous lore spell of them all, Luminous Weaver. Now, this is the first of many spells that follow the pattern of where the original form of it is banned in PvP. And then they have added a new form with the addition of the school pip on these lore spells to better reflect school identity. Now, I'll be honest, I hit and weakness it never would have fit life in general but this and this is a little different than i would have expected honestly at face value it's actually not terrible i mean obviously the fact that it's 370 damage instead of 410 is just a bummer in general um, I, I i don't know why they didn't just make the damage go up because it was nice to hit with that much damage for four pips as a life it wasn't broken but the two healing blades is it good is it bad in my opinion i think this is really not good and that's not actually because of the fact that the two heal blades are bad for life or anything it's because banshee also got updated this update and what it does against two blades is it turns each blade into a minus 65 weakness and a minus 65 infection and because you can set your arch mastery to any school in whiz right now you could literally set it to death pack banshees and absolutely a hard counter luminous while also being ready for other people that blade essentially the fact that banshee is so good makes luminous extremely bad in my opinion so i don't know how i feel about this whatsoever one thing i will notice i think this might be one of the only spells in the game maybe one of a few now that this audit has happened where the main version of the spell is no pvp and you need spellments to use it in pvp i think that's a little ridiculous considering you you, you either need a lot of gold keys for spellman farmer you need to open up packs they should definitely definitely make this base version a heal blade one so that you could actually use it I, I think having a spell that immediately not being able to use it for pp is a little bit of a weird practice but i don't know very odd change definite nerf for life in this department but is everything terrible for life let's look at the other lore spells ratatata didn't really get changed they just added a life school pip to it but it's basically like a four pip aoe so you just gotta set your arch mastery to life i made a video on this a couple of days ago on people that are concerned about not being able to use this at lower levels definitely worth the watch but this is not really a nerf it's not a buff it's really not much can't ban it y'all there's another example of a spell where the base version's no pp but the new version is definitely very different than what we're used to basically what this does now for three pips and a life school pip it hits and then it removes two traps on self i actually do like this a lot i feel like life should actually remove traps with ease it would have been kind of cool if maybe you could have had something where it hits and then converts the two traps into something that life can use like maybe guiding lights regular blades for damage i guess that must have been like way too broken but i don't know it would have been cool because honestly i feel like this version itself the reason it was bad is because it literally just the damage isn't good enough to just affect one trap i'm not a hundred percent sold just because the damage is still kind of low for a five pip spell but it's definitely a very good anti-trap spell and i don't think it was as good of an anti-trap spell before this audit finally pigsy this one is a huge mixed bag y'all on one hand as you might notice the heal has stayed but they've added a four round heal overtime to it now you might be wondering why in the world would you call this bad is this not a massive w it's literally just a four pip spell basically and it's extremely good for pve yes i like that you can heal for more but the problem is when it comes to timed things like raids where spells like pigsy are the best heals this will actually add to the timer a lot imagine an extra heal over time on everybody on the field every time you pigsy that could get really annoying and when raids are a timed thing and especially as we get more things like that in the future you might actually see less viability with a spell like pigsy that takes as much time as it does like animation wise if this had just been 320 added on to this for whatever reason then this would have been extremely powerful maybe a little too good for uh for a heal in general the other thing to watch out for is that again like with raids and stuff there are certain bosses that actually counter heal lower times but don't count a regular heal so now this could be a throw on hard bosses so basically 
a mixed bag. It looks like a buff. It could come with trade-offs. We'll see. It could be interesting. Y'all, they went a little crazy with ice. Now, the first thing to note is that Winter Moon is essentially a six pip spell, not a five pip spell. That's a four pip spell that has an additional ice school pip added onto it for essentially a total of six pips if you're if you have ice pip. That being said, it did get a slight damage boost, but for a hidden, I mean, it, you know, it's not terrible. It's just you can't peace serve combo it with a bomb and stuff like it used to be. It's, it, it seems like a relatively small thing, especially with the damage upgrade, but keep that in mind. The combo potential is lower. Reindeer Knight is now an AoE that not only does it do quite a bit if you go the top path for PvE, but also the bottom path is just a hit that actually, re like, it reduces incoming damage by 60%. That is a huge buff. Uh, when minions are back in PvP, this is gonna be a very nutty minion killer. It might be the best minion killer, because not only are you gonna be able to attack both the opponent and the minion, but you also defend yourself. Definitely a huge buff for ice. I kind of like it. I don't know if y'all agree. I kind of like it over and over time in general. It is obviously relatively very weak. It's just going to punish minions and it's an AoE. I think that's kind of a cool concept. I, I don't think that's a crazy thing. When I said crazy, I meant it. Angry Snow Pigs, potentially one of the most useless spells of all time, is now somewhat usable. Now, obviously the top hat is garbage still, but the bottom one, it's just like Camp and It hits and then it basically double disarms. I assume that this does not affect Aegis Blades, so it's not really that crazy compared to other tools that Ice does have against Blades, but this is just another tool that makes Ice good against Blade stacking, and as the anti-Blade school, it is something that they should have. Considering no one was really using Snow Pigs, I see this as also a massive W for Ice. Handsome Fomori, what did they do to my boy, man? So they kept basically the entire concept of it, but essentially what they did, right? They added a school pimp just like every lore spell, and then the PvP version of it anyways is that it's a storm mantle. Now, why would you want a storm mantle? I mean, there's a few reasons. One, people thermic shield in order to, you know, shield against ice. So I guess if you're going against someone that's not storm and you do this, you might limit their set shield capabilities. It also plays into their weakness ident identity for setting up Jin and working with death mastery and three folds, that type of stuff. I'm a little undecided on how good this is. I actually think the damage isn't terrible for ice to begin with. So maybe this will see some use. I think this will be the least used out of all the lore spells that we're going to see today, though. That's all I'm going to say, because the school-specific mantle, I don't know about that. Finally, potentially the biggest change of all. They made Celestial Intervention, and instead of a heal, uh, which it is, I guess, in PvE, in PvP, it's a protected 985 absorb. So this is not something that's steel wardable. You have to basically have an anti-shield Rochambeau or hit through it in order to do anything about it. What's a little nuts about this is it's also very much a protection against King Artorius, which Myth has, and, 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 and Mystic Colossus, which Myth has. It is a little weird that they have a spell that's so good against every school except Myth and Fire Rochambeau spells. But then again, for four pips, maybe, you know, it's just basically like an Ice Absorb. I, 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 this might be a little weird at low level. That's the first thing that comes to my mind when I'm looking at this. These are early morning thoughts, so maybe I'm wrong. Y'all can tell me why. But the fact that you can't steal ward this and it's protected and all that does make it a little iffy. Still very interesting compared to a heal. I kind of still like it. It still plays off of what ice should be good at. Now, y'all, there's still myth lore spells to look through. I'm gonna look through them real quick because honestly, some of these, some of these aren't that wild. So the, the quickest changes that you can look at are ninja pigs being now six pips, essentially just like the winter moon change. It's four pips and a myth school pip. And it comes with its own raise in damage. Now, I will say 690 for five pips, which is what it was doing a max tier versus 735 for essentially six pips. I think there's a little bit of a nerf, which I don't know if I'm feeling that, but it's still a very hard hitter. They didn't really change the spell, and I kind of like it because it's always been this basically since the very beginning of time. This is like the first non-main school spell that you could actually ever use. I'm glad they kind of like stuck with it. It's a little scared they were going to do something to my boy. Flash Squatch has had a very similar treatment as in it's raised a pip because of the school pip thing. So now instead of four pips, it's basically a five pip spell for flat damage. And honestly, the max tier version of this 680 damage for five pips. It is really good. It's basically like an old ninja pig. So if you like ninja pigs, you essentially do have it for a school pip with splash squad. Just the range could be a little low. But what's very interesting is that they made a spell that plays off of Mitt's anti-weakness identity. Just like Mystic can go through a shield and hit, now Splash Squatch can literally remove a weakness and hit. I'm a little undecided on how good this is, considering if someone does do a weakness on you, like 
it would have to be a pretty decent weakness, at least 30 plus, in order for this to be worth it, because otherwise, you're, it's kind of a low damage spell, compared to whatever else you can do, like, you know, you can always do stuff like Empower, you can Delusion on a myth. I feel like it's a little situational, but I don't know, I, I'm leaning more towards just the flat damage one, but this could be an interesting addition to PvP. Keeper of the Flame barely changed. The trap is very powerful, but that's pretty much the only thing that's changed here. It's still four pips, it's still a decent bit of damage, and it's a, it's a hidden trap. Now, now, the final spell of this video, which in my opinion is a huge surprise, is Grendel's Immense. Just like Celestial Intervention, they got rid of the heal for Myth because Myth is not a healing school. And they added something to really, you know, protect its shield identity. It's, 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 so, like, I don't know. It's the double absorb could be okay. These are not protected, so they're very stealable, which I think... I don't know, that kind of makes this a little risky. That being said, if you steal shields against a myth, they have tools against it, so I feel like at the very least, a myth should be able to use this very well. All in all, y'all, it seems like myth has some new tools to play around with, and very solid damage options. It looks like ice has spells that actually make sense for an ice to have, including a gigantic minion killing upgrade that when minions are back in PvP, will put ice on top when it comes to minion killing. And life seems to be going in a direction that's really, really pushing healing, but they just lost their best tool in pvp the best tool they've ever had i will tell if these changes make sense but i did want to make a video let me know what you guys think of the lore changes to the ice to the myth to the life spell they didn't really do anything to balance other than add school pips i think they're still working on that so i'll make a video when that drops let me know y'all's opinions drop a like if you enjoyed the video and as always stay awesome y'all see y'all soon and yeah yeah